Hey, what's good people? My name is Cass. Most of you know me as Cass Beats. Uh, but let me reintroduce myself. I'm Evangelist Cass. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, and also a man of God. Um, and I'm on Nigeria, baby. Yeah. Yeah, music, music for me is, is like, a, well, music for me is like my bloodline. You know, it's a, it's a part of me, it's what I do, um, it's a passion, it's my destiny. So it's been very good to me and since I can remember. And um, yeah. Yeah, well, I produce music. Um, my team, they produce the videos and stuff, yeah, but I produce music. Um, Cast Beats, that's my production company, that's my record label. Um, been producing for a long time and uh, production is something as a part of me. I'm also a musician, so as a drummer, I was, in, I was given the name Cast Beats actually from my church, so yeah, music production is what I do as, as well, so definitely, yeah, I still produce, very much a producer. What songs have I produced recently? Um, a lot of songs. Um, uh, there's, a, there's some projects I have in the pipeline as well. Working with um, CDQ, uh, YC, a lot of artists as well. But they're not out yet. And also with Duncan Mighty and a lot of stuff coming out. Um, I just have a lot of projects in line coming out gently, gently, gently and stuff. You know, taking it. Bring it out one by one, you know. So um, yeah, a lot of stuff. I, a lot of stuff I worked on, but it's coming out soon. I've been married since 2009. Yeah, um, I keep my private life very private. I don't like to mix it with, you know, the show business because show business can affect your marriage life. So um, as a married man, it's um, it's a beautiful thing because. You go outside with a different face, you come home with a different face. At home, you're a husband, you're a provider for your wife and your family. Outside, you're this superstar guy that people uh, admire. So you try to, well, me personally, I try to separate them and stuff. But it's been a good, it's been a good run and um, it's going well. When I was about seven years old, um, I had a show. Uh, I performed Michael Jackson and um, I remember after the performance the crowd chased us home me and my older brother and then they were now hitting our door saying um, they want us to come back and perform more I remember the feeling I've got from being like being admired you know people chasing you because you're famous and I, I remember that around that time when I was about seven and I said to God I said you know what God, if you can make me a popular musician, in return, I will serve you. That's when I was seven years old. So when I became popular with, you know, Femile and all that stuff, um, I started getting, uh, people started coming to me, different pastors started coming to me saying, Cash, you're supposed to be a preacher. Cash, you're supposed to be a pastor. Oh, this, 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 this. Sometimes some men of God will come to my house, you know, to pray, and they'll say, oh, my brother, I think you're supposed to be a pastor. Different people, different phone calls from different men and women of God. So after a while, I said, okay, I give up. And then I prayed myself, I got a vision. The thing is, it's not just, you just wake up and say you want to be a pastor. It doesn't work like that. Um, when God calls you, especially for those who are stubborn like me, it sends you messengers. Just like uh, Jonah and the whale, you know, it sends you messengers, sends you guidelines to say, you know, this is what you're supposed to do. And after a while, I said, yes, okay, then I accept. And I'm the kind of pastor that will go to a club. You know, I'm not the kind that would judge you and say, oh, if you go to a club, you go to hell. Or if you drink, you go, no. You know, the people that I'm supposed to save, they are in the club. So there's no use of me being in the church every Sunday waiting for you to come and meet me. I'm supposed to come and meet you because I'm an evangelist. So I move, I come to you where you are. So that's my job as an evangelist. Oh, relax. No, my wife is very supportive. She's very spiritual as well. She she knows she knows who she married, and um, she's seen um, the superstar life. And of course, when God calls you, He prepares things around you. 
so it makes things okay. Even though they're in your family that not support you, they would, they would have to succumb because they have no choice, <clears throat> except you're not strong enough spiritually. But yeah, my wife has been supportive, my family has been supportive. Um, it's been a beautiful thing. It's just that sometimes some, some people don't really like to or want to accept it. They're like, ah, no, guy, if you go do that kind of music now, if you go to do pastor, you'll be one of us now. You know, it happens. Tell them say you find hearts, man, suffer one day, give me no sorrow, I go pay your time. The major thing that has changed is the fact that um, I've accepted that I've been called by God because um, I don't drink, I don't smoke, so it's not like, it's not like I stopped smoking or drinking. When they used to host me in the clubs before I accepted the call, they bring like expensive drinks and stuff like that, and I don't drink none of them because I don't drink, I don't smoke. I only drink the soft drinks. Um, even now, when they still invite me, they still put different expensive drinks on the table. I still don't drink it. My crew might drink it, but I'll be the one drinking the soft drinks or the water. Um, yeah, so the major change is the fact that I've accepted God and I say, okay, God, I've accepted you. Let me now do your work. <laughs> Uh, my new single, This Love, um, uh, it's a, obviously a typical love song. Um, uh, but first of all, let me comment on the video because I know people are shooting at me in the video. Uh, the truth is this, the video, the girl, the way she was dressed in the video was actually a mistake on the director's part because he told her that we shouldn't like uh, a club scene thing. And then when I came to the video shoot, I told the guy, no, I wanted to do a love story kind of thing, boy and girl kind of thing, simple stuff. And then I'm like, okay, cool. The director said, okay, action. She came out of the car and she was literally half naked. I'm like, guy, you don't have to be passed on. Why? The guy doesn't even wear anything. And then before she goes home and get changed and do all that kind of stuff, the whole day will have gone. So we just said, you know what, let's just shoot. People will still talk anyway. Even if, even if she's dressed up, if she's not dressed up, but I take the stab on that, that yeah, it's wrong for me to have had that kind of stuff when I'm pushing God level. First of all, um, going to Shrine, for me, I'm going, well, let me, before I even go that part, um, I wanted to pay a tribute to someone that has paved the way for millions and of people, which is our late, our great fella, you know, um, that's one, the king of Afrobeats. I just went there to pay tribute in my way. And the most important reason why I went to shrine, people will say, oh, but guy, you be pastor, why would you want to go to shrine? The word shrine. Okay. Uh, first of all, my answer to that is I'm an evangelist. And I'm supposed to go everywhere. You know, um, you know, the thing is this, people can't see Jesus. Not everybody can see Jesus. So you as a Christian, as someone that follows God, you're supposed to be the image of Jesus to them. So the fact that I went there is like saying, ah, but this guy is a pastor now. Yeah, I'm a pastor and I'm on stage saying praise God and I'm enshrined. I think that's the best way to reach people because the people that they're drinking, they're smoking, they don't really, you know, most of them are just thinking, what is, what is life about? But the fact that they see someone that say he's a follower of Christ and is enshrined, I think it's a beautiful thing, you know. I think more people, more pastors should go there, you know. Um, yeah, I got, I got criticized a lot, but even Jesus was criticized, so who was cast? Well, first of all, um, yeah, I travel a lot. I, I'm, I'm British, I live in England with my family. Um, but most of my business is here in Nigeria, so most of the time I go London, Lagos, London, Lagos, and obviously around, around the globe for a different kind of business, obviously. And of, of course, music as well, doing shows, doing tours. You know, going around helps you build your mind, um, shows you different culture in life. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. Hey, what's good, people? It's your boy, Cast Beats. And yes, you're watching at GZ Extreme. And yes, 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 the number one TV station. Oh, shit.